Heresy Lab has the sisters you might need. <laughs> Bits. <laughs> Welcome back, Hobby Maniacs. I'm Rob Bear from SpikyBits.com, and we are checking out Heresy Lab again today. You may remember the assassins that we showed you, how oh, gosh, it might have been a month or two now, uh, but they had a great selection of inspired by assassins that I think look really good. You've probably seen um, their Kickstarter recently. I think it was uh, Heresy Girls 2, I wanna say. That, uh, gosh, I can't remember when that was. Last fall, last summer? I don't know, the time all blurs together. It was recent, but not too long ago, I, su I suppose. Well, they sent us over a big batch of miniatures uh, to kind of check out and show everybody all the lines that they've done up to this point. They actually have a Kickstarter up right now. I'm not sure when you might be seeing this. It might already be over, but I'm sure you can still back it. It's for some heresy kind of inspired uh, miniatures. And they have some, some stuff that we haven't seen uh, in resin or from uh, a major games manufacturer quite yet. So it's definitely worth taking a look at. And we'll show it to you over on their website here in a second. So um, I think what I like to do, or at least what I've done, because there's so many miniatures, they have over 150 miniatures. This is crazy, the amount of stuff they put out through uh, their website and also the Kickstarters. There's so much, so I had to group it by category. So I think today we'll take a look at what they call the Sisters of Mercy. Okay, so here's their website. It's heresylab.com. We've showed it to you before. Now they have the, sometimes they have sales, um, which they are doing one right now, obviously for the uh, the whole pandemic crisis sort of thing. It looks like shipping has actually resumed. Uh, they're picking up every day now or three to four day basis. I think it was just a couple of days a week. So they're starting to get stuff out the door. I'm sure there's still gonna be delays as things trickle through from uh, Europe over to America or even you know through Europe and stuff. So obviously give them some time on, on orders. I just got something in that I ordered from Germany in the beginning of March. So it's, uh, I don't know, mid-May now, I think. I think that's the date, I don't know, I'll have to look at my watch. So it's mid-May and it took two months to get to me. So, you know, that's the kind of the way it's going right now. Like I said, their Hades Legion Kickstarter is up right now. You might wanna check that out. Still might be an opportunity to back it if it's already ended. By the time this video is out, it'll probably be ended. But they got some really cool looking stuff over there and it smashed its funding goal. And of course, I'm sure they're gonna have stuff out the door just as quick as they can. Uh, lots of cool stuff over there. Vehicles, uh, some inspired by Saturnine Terminators and lots and lots of cool heresy flavored kind of looks over there. Not exactly sure on the scale, haven't got my little paws on the stuff yet, but today we're gonna to talk about uh, stuff in their categories. So they have a whole bunch of miniatures. You can sort them by 28 mil, 54 mil teams. They actually have digital files, which you can get those assassins that we showed you last time uh, in STLs if you really want. Over here, and of course they got their Kickstarter too. So we're gonna go into 28 millimeter and we're gonna click on uh, Sisters of Mercy right here. So you can see all the different little factions of miniatures that they have. And here's what loads. Uh, currently there's 12 results, 12 different miniatures that they have. Uh, some of their newer stuff up here, I think this was the Heresy Kickstarter 2, I believe. And then some of their older designs down here at the bottom. Now. I've got these in hand and I will tell you right off right off the bat, the scale is a little bit off between the older models and the newer models. Like the newer models are more like a 32. Um, and I'm not sure if they just haven't re kind of categorized the site or, you know, it's 28 is 28. But when you compare some of these miniatures to each other, they're a little bit bigger versus smaller. So the older stuff's a little bit smaller and the newer stuff's kind of a little bit bigger, more Primaris kind of sistery if you, you know, if you had to put a label on it, so to speak. But they're all great sculpts for sure. I've seen the 3D digital STLs of all this stuff and they look great. They look just as good in the cast that you have here. And obviously you can buy some of these in STLs too and print them out yourself to whatever quality you want. I can tell you they print good down to 25 microns. So, you know, all this stuff's looking super fresh. Now, pricing wise for a miniature in resin, boutique miniature, you know, 15-ish, I say ish because it's not 15.95, but $15 or less, some of them are 13. I think it's a good price point. I'm gonna show you the quality. You can definitely you know, judge for yourself too on the quality, the options, as well as you know, if, if you think it's just good value in general. Me personally, I see some really good value here. Uh, not all of them are in stock right now, but I feel like, remember too, they have a lot of sales. They got a sale going on right now, 20% off. And I feel like <sighs> getting these miniatures at 20% off, 
pretty good deal. So let's take a closer look at some of these. Actually, I think I have almost all of these uh, assembled that we're gonna show you here in a second. So generally, uh, your miniatures from Heresy Lab are gonna come in a uh, little clamshell kind of pack thing. They're gonna be individually labeled, I think, Actually, I'm not sure where. I haven't seen one out for sale. Oh, actually, yeah, I did. It's up here. I saw these at Gigabytes, as a matter of fact. So uh, the label's right here with the name. Sometimes a SKU number and such. I actually don't remember off the top of my head. These, you just kind of sent an empty one and didn't label it just because we were just doing a review, so no big deal there. But it's, you know, it, it definitely is uh, protected on its uh, trip over, and they're going to come with a little baggie with all the parts in it. Haven't had any breakage that I know of that I can remember, I don't think. Uh, as far as miniatures go, but we've already taken the parts out so we can show you one of these and basically how it's going to come to you and then show you some of the assembled ones. So here's a little zoom in of it here. And I actually don't know which miniature this is. It looks pretty dope. We've got a skull head right there. It's obviously a lady, got a jump pack. And I think these little, maybe it's Stark Eldar or something, or maybe it's Eldar. They have some Xenosy looking stuff kind of jumping off this. Uh, uh, what is this, uh, I beam girder type deal, but all very well detailed. I mean, little cape. I don't know why you'd want a jump pack and a cape. Somebody hasn't watched Incredibles, but either way, it's super detailed and it's kind of looks like it's optional. But I digress. This isn't ones we're going to show you today, but this is an idea of everyone's a little different. Some of the legs are separate, some of the arms are separate. But in general, you know, in, in general, this is kind of how you're going to get your miniatures from Heresy Lab. So first out of the gate is Justina, Justina, I guess <laughs> the name is, and uh, doesn't have, uh, actually I don't think this had any options at all, but she looks great. You might be remembering some artwork she may or may not be inspired from, uh, but you know, with the little skull up there too, I definitely think it's pretty cool. And she's got her cane of uh, authority, I suppose. Uh, very well detailed model, and I'm trying to, you know, light colored gray just never does well on the camera, but. I think right about there, you can definitely see a lot of the crisp detail uh, that this model has. Now, this is one of those that is on a little bit bigger of a base because she is kind of primary size. She normally goes for $12.95, which again, if you catch it at a sale, there's definitely some opportunity to be had there. Now, this one I think is roughly about the same scale too. Comes with a couple different options. This is Saint Manacle. Man Manakel. <laughs> um, so it's got the shield and the flaming sword, you know, stuff we've seen before, typical biblical type things. Uh, the feathers all looking super fresh. The head's got a lot of uh, detail up there. It's, well, I can't even tell what's up. Uh, uh, and obligatory cat hairs to boot. Flaming sword. Got all the stuff going on that you would expect. And there is also an option for the iron halo, which I didn't want to mess with it, to be quite honest, but it looks like it would uh, just slot right in there pretty well. But again, wasn't exactly sure. And a uh, little optional arm here with some doves on it. I wonder, uh, that was definitely inspired by something too, I imagine. But, uh, you know, it is that 28 millimeter scale and it is a little bit smaller, maybe more manageable. Uh, but either way, great figure to pick up and prime or paint. Uh, that one's $15.95. This is Sister... Augusta, which she's kind of one of my favorites here. She's got that bipod kind of, uh, I don't know what, is that a bipod flamer, I guess, with the hose going to the back, the feed hose. But very similar to Justina uh, with that, you know, tall hair and kind of gothic uh, look and a little gas mask on her hip, but also very well detailed. Again, a little bit harder to get that crisp detail, but I can see a lot of it in the face. And I think uh, once you get a little darker primer coat on here, it would be a lot more obvious. And then we've got a mounted miniature too. So here we go. Now this one, oh, there's still some spur right there, so to speak. Uh, this is, there we go. I think that's a probably a good angle right there. This is uh, Inquisitor Joan riding on her mechanical, I think it's mechanical steed. Uh, clockwork steed so to speak and she does come off so you can paint them separate and slots right in there pretty good She's got some really interesting footwear right there with the stirrups included and all and lots of pack gear um, a Maybe not completely mechanical because it's got a, uh, a Rebreather on there, but uh, very very adventurous I like how they're kind of pushing the uh, the envelope here on the whole gothic and the whole like grimdark kind of feel and of course her rod of uh, authority 
bolt pistol sidearm there. So those, oh wait, I think there is uh, one more. Yes, we got one more right here. Actually, I forget the name of this miniature. Oh, this is Sister Martha. This is the one that's in the, uh, the featured image right there. So you can see, kind of compare it to what you might have saw in the opening there as far as the, uh, the actual 3D render. So still very crisp, a lot of details are pronounced. Like I said, light resin, eh. It isn't always the best for the camera and the lighting and stuff, but I think we got it nailed pretty good for the most part here, at least good enough to make you interested in the miniature right there. So all of these are that kind of primary scale that I was saying, uh, where they are just a little bit bigger from that last Kickstarter, but not in like an off-putting way or anything like that. So I don't feel like it's a, like a bad kind of scale. It's more like the, the kind of the true sister scale right now, as far as that goes. But there you go, you can kind of see right there. So, eh. I mean, for the most part, they are a little different, but I feel like a lot of times people are just picking up these pieces just to have kind of something different to paint. Uh, and then they go into a little bit bigger, like to have a larger mech with a couple different options. This is called the Purifier, I believe. Yeah, the Purifier. This one's $22.95, so a little bit more uh, than the $12.95 ones right there. And it's you know definitely your, whoops, didn't glue that down. So the traditional Walker kind of deal. And it has a couple of weapon options, like there's a chain glaive or this uh, Pew Pew Auto Cannon. Uh, sort of thing right there but again another very well detailed miniature now i'm not sure if this is the base it's supposed to we didn't really have any bases for these i'm not even sure what came with this one uh this particular one here so might have lost it but i think it's supposed to be on a 50 mil and then we kind of cantered the the legs in there not a big deal but it had enough room to kind of wiggle and get in there but very well detailed and got lots of room up there for heraldry and all sorts of different things so if you're looking kind of for a one-off type deal like a mech walker or something like that for your inquisitorial warband or um, some sort of kill team thing well then um I guess that might be for you. There's also a jet bike, which we didn't have. Unfortunately, I thought it would be pretty cool, but I looked and uh, we didn't have that one. Um, then there's a couple of different uh, Inquisitor kind of henchmen and, and different things. So this is uh, one of the, oh, actually this is a battle sister doing some sort of proclamation. Now this is on 32 and it's kind of like an in-between scale. I mean, I feel like this lady is just a little bit bigger, just bigger in statue than like say some of these other ones who I'm about to show you. So it's not quite the same 32 millimeter scale. It's just a little shorter, I feel like so, but obviously very well done. It's a 1295. And some of these remember are going to be um, discounted, you're going to have a discount code. And this is an inquisitor. Who is this? This is just a female Inquisitor. She looks pretty cool. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Je uh, Cal Jericho, but obviously, uh, you know, more of a sword fighter with uh, power weapons and things like that. This is also a little bit of the larger scale, I feel like, you know, compared right there. So kind of the in-between, but not quite larger from their middle Kickstarter. And then a couple other miniatures here too. Now I'm not sure what's, I guess this is kind of that in-between scale as well. Kind of what you what you see there with standing up doing the best captain morgan pose reading a book preaching giving that fiery speech to rouse the troops and i feel like that's the kind of the in-between scale right and we'll take a look at that here in a second and then two of the smaller miniatures just kind of like the henchman type stuff you've got like some sort of uh enforcer i forget what this one's actually called but the shield's looking uh, pretty cool and scott i think they got a couple of different uh, options, or maybe there's just an extra part. Yeah, there was just an extra part in that one. Actually, I think that might be from a squad. I have to check. This is the only one I have here. Um, it's got some grenades and stuff going on. Sidearm, cool little riot shield with uh, you know a little screen that you can kind of see through. Very, very uh, cool and would definitely fit in the grim dark. Now it is a little bit smaller, not because I think she's kneeling, but just because I, I think it's just sculpted. You know, it's a little bit older of a miniature, which isn't that big of a deal. And then. Uh, this one right here is a little bit older as well. Got the chain sword, got the backpack. Great crisp detail, of course, but maybe a little out of scale with these other ones. But either way, um, you know, I think for the most part, you can definitely make it work, whatever you're trying to do with it. Just be aware that some of these might be more like a henchman or might be more on the um, like full-on character kind of side of things. 
And as far as overall scale, well, here's how they compare up to a Primera. So very similar almost. So it is a little bit of that larger, maybe maybe not a true 32, maybe like an in-between. And then you've got these that are a little bit smaller. It definitely looks like something that would fit in the armor perhaps. So like I said, just kind of be aware that the detail is great. The one-offness is great. The character, characterful uh, you know, designs are really great. But some of these uh, characters are just a little bigger than some of the trooper kind of models um you know going from 32 to 28 kind of true scale right there and then i mean they're going to fit in with the guardsmen and stuff regardless so uh as far as that goes but if you when you when you start grabbing some of these ladies right here um remember death core resin are a little bit smaller than uh the plastic from gw so they're going to be very close but maybe not a hundred percent but sometimes that's what makes characters blend in even better in my opinion or you know stand out if that's what you're looking for <laughs> today is opposite days so that is it for this one uh, you know if you like any of these miniatures make sure you check out heresylab.com they're back they're shipping again they got it going on they got kickstarters they're all doing all sorts of things one of, one of the hardest working manufacturers out there <laughs> for sure um thank you very much for watching this video you know hit me up with any questions you have below but i think for the pricing the detail wise um you're going to be very hard pressed to find a better value out there and this is just one of the many categories of miniatures you can check out right now over on their site